Now in this video we're going to be finding an unknown matrix of transformation. Now I'm going to give you an object, I'm going to give you an image, and then you should be able to tell me what the matrix of transformation is. Let's just get stuck straight into it. So here is our uh, question. Find the matrix of transformation such that 4, 3 maps onto 9, 10, and 2, 1 maps onto 5, 6. So uh, we can use our general rule here, which says that the image matrix is equal to the transform matrix times the object matrix. So the transformation matrix, that's what I'm trying to find. So we can just leave that there for now. Um, now the object. Now we've got two objects here. We've got 0.43 and we've got 0.21 and they're mapping onto two other ob uh, two images, 9, 10 and 5, 6. So 0.43, 0.21. Um, this we don't know, but the image matrix we do know. 4, 3 maps onto 9, 10, and 2, 1 maps onto 5, 6. And may as well just call that, just hold it at matrix T. And so now the question is, how do I solve for T? Well, I need to take this and move it over to the other side. And to do that, I'm going to use some post multiplication. So uh, we can, I'll jump through it over here really quickly. A equals T um, times B, let's say, which is what this is in the form of, A equals T times B. Um, we can write T, B times B to the negative 1, A, B to the negative 1, B times B to the negative 1, there should be a negative there, uh, will just equal 1, so that gives us T, and we get a, b to the negative 1. So that's what we need here now. So we're going to have this matrix here. 9, 10, 5, 6. And then I need the inverse of this. So 4 times 1, 2 times 3. Uh, that's 1 over negative 2. And then um, swap those. 1 and 4. Negatives for these. Negative 2 and negative 3, that equals our transformation matrix. Now, I can, I'll can i just move that negative half out the front. And then I'm just performing matrix multiplication on 9, 5, 10, 6, and 1, negative 2, negative 3, 4. And that matrix multiplication should give me an answer of this... Um, and then we just need to multiply everything by a half. Uh, so that's going to give me a final transformation matrix of negative a half times negative 6 is positive 3. Negative a half times 2 is negative 1. Uh, negative a half times negative 8 is 4. And 4, or negative a half times 4 is negative 2. And I've solved my question. This is the matrix or the transformation matrix that will map 4, 3 onto 9, 10, and 2, 1 onto 5, 6. Now, that's an example of finding an unknown matrix of transformation. Now, you're going to need some points to do that, and you're going to need to remember that you're performing post-multiplication, not pre-multiplication. All right, that's it.